The immense importance of the woman in the red dress is often overlooked. This training program that Morpheus made Neo undergo during his recruitment was designed to teach people the dangers of being seduced by the Matrix. But what if behind the woman in red lies a more sinister reality about the red pills? Have we misinterpreted this crucial scene in our understanding of the Matrix? Also, what became of the woman in the red dress after Matrix Revolutions? Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Neo did learn two important lessons when he experienced the woman in the red dress. The first is that in the Matrix, nothing is what it seems. Anyone could become an agent. And the second is that temptations could lead to death. On the system that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. The woman in red was designed by Mouse, one of the crew members of the Nebuchadnezzar. Mouse was the ship's programmer and who loved to brag about his creation, the woman in red. So what did you think of her? Of who? The woman in the red dress. I designed her. She, um, well, she doesn't talk very much, but, but if you'd like to meet her, I can arrange a much more personalized meal. What was Mouse's inspirations for the woman in the red dress? One is that the woman in red was a famous actress slash model in The Matrix. And two, Mouse possibly had a crush on her. We know this thanks to the one scene inside the hotel just before the deja vu cat appeared. Mouse is looking at a pinup magazine that featured the model for the woman in red. Therefore, we could say that Mouse pioneered deepfakes. Now, before Neo was freed from The Matrix, there was a red pill named Eddie. Many of you already know his story, but for those new, Here's a recap. Eddie was a blue pill who was freed from the simulation by Morpheus, but his girlfriend was still trapped in it. Eddie's love for his girl was a dangerous distraction that inevitably resulted in his demise. The book The Art of the Matrix tells this story properly. Eddie was Morpheus' pupil. He thought that Eddie was the prophesized one, but there was an obstacle. Eddie's girlfriend, who lived in the simulation. Eddie missed her so much that he secretly contacted her and asked her to meet him somewhere. That sealed Eddie's fate. He was caught by the agents, then killed by Morpheus before he could reveal any secrets. We can assume that each of Morpheus' tests is designed according to the mistakes of the past. The woman in red was created so that Eddie's story would not be repeated. Her essential function is to teach Neo that even the most attractive and desirable things in the Matrix can be deadly. In this scene, the woman in red is a representation of temptation that can blind people and lead them astray from their goals. However, like everything in the Matrix, the woman in red has another meaning, a much darker one. The color red in the Matrix universe symbolizes knowledge and the liberation from the system. It is through the red pill that Neo follows down the rabbit hole and awakens to the real world. The so-called red pills are the enlightened ones. People who can see beyond the manipulations of the machines. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. But this was a facade. The red pill is a reduction, a false symbol, an illusion created by the Oracle and the Architect to make humans believe that they are making an important decision and that they are escaping the system. Both the red pill and the blue pill are part of the same system of control. They are part of the same deception. It is no coincidence that the woman in red turned into Smith in the same way that red pills are used by the system itself to deceive others. In the scene of the woman in red, it is clear that red is not the color of illumination. It is the color of deception. Not even Morpheus himself had this realization. Later in Matrix Reloaded, it is revealed that everything that has happened has been part of the architect's plan. And the concept of the pills is not mentioned again until Matrix Resurrections when it is reintroduced as a symbol of escaping the simulation. Okay, so to come with me, you have to be ready to leave. You have to be really ready. And if you're not, if you think that this is where you belong... You call this a choice? Oh, honestly, when somebody offered me these things, I went off of binary conceptions of the world and said that there was no way I was swallowing some symbolic reduction in my life. And the woman with the pills laughed because I was missing the point. What point? The choice is an illusion. You already know what you have to do. 
because you didn't come here to make the choice. You've already made it. As we mentioned in previous videos, Matrix Resurrections could be another false reality created by the machines. So the color red continues to be symbolic of lies and deceit. Also in Matrix Revolutions, we see the Merovingian and Persephone wearing red, two characters that are also depicted as being seductive and deceitful. Apart from the color red, there are other important colors in this universe, such as the color green, which represents the simulation and falsehood of the Matrix. Also, there is yellow, which usually represents a high level of consciousness and or illumination. It is the color that Neo sees when he loses his sight, and the color of the Oracle and Seraph's codes. Returning to the woman in red, what happened to her? With Mouse's death in the Matrix, the use of the woman in the red dress program was discontinued, perhaps because only Mouse had access to her source code, and only he could use it. In the scene where Mouse offers Neo some time alone with the woman in red, he talks about this program as if he had total control over it, for which with his death also came the end of the woman in red. This symbolism of the woman in red is directly linked to Buddhism, where desire is seen as a fundamental cause of suffering. In the search for enlightenment, this desire must be recognized and overcome. Similarly, Neo must learn to see beyond appearances and resist the temptations that the Matrix throws at him. Furthermore, the woman in red can be seen as a metaphor for Baudrillard's simulacrum, a copy without an original, which plays with the notion of reality and illusion. In the Matrix, reality is constructed of simulacra, and the woman in red is one of them, a hypnotic distraction that is, however, completely devoid of substance. Now, there are two important details about the creation of the woman in red. The first is that during the filming of her scene, the young lady that played the woman in red caused a traffic accident. This guy drives out, sees her standing there, stops the car. We can see the roller door coming down and he's sitting in the car just looking at her. The roller door slams into the top of his car. He <laughs> gets a really big fright, starts to drive forward. The roller door scrapes all the way across his windshield, all the way across the top, cracks his windscreen and he's so embarrassed he drives off down the road. It's quite ironic that the woman in red distracted a man in real life, causing a car accident. Makes you wonder if our reality is more closely tied to the movie than we might think. And second, is something that we mentioned a long time ago on this channel. This same actress was also in Star Wars Episode 2. She played a random girl who tried to seduce Anakin Skywalker. Anakin was the chosen one of that franchise. And the scene is kind of an homage to the Matrix, since the woman in red tried to seduce two chosen ones. However, Anakin was not distracted like Neo. Another curious thing about this Star Wars scene is that the actor who played Mouse also made an appearance. This is what led us to wonder if Star Wars was another Matrix simulation created by Mouse to distract himself with the woman in red. But do you agree? What do you think happened to the woman in red and her simulation? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.